The pain was so bad that I couldn't handle it anymore and I was scared to death. In my heart, I believed that I was gonna beat it. I didn't think it was gonna affect me in any way. But when something goes wrong with me in life, I know I have a lot of people that I can turn to to give me strength and support and to make sure that I know that everything's gonna be all right. Conyers, Georgia. This small city, 24 miles east of Atlanta, is home to Tyler Austin. It's here where Tyler began playing sports as soon as he learned to walk. It's here where he threw his first baseball and hit his first home run. It's here where Tyler planted his roots and where his heart will stay. When I was younger, I played at a, uh, a park called Rock Chapel, and my dad was coaching our team, and I was playing against a buddy of mine, and every time he'd come up to hit, he put me in right field because he was a left-handed hitter, and he wanted me to try to catch the ball out in right field. first met Tyler when I was uh, probably eight years old. He came and played on our travel team, which was the Rockdale Rhinos, from eight all the way up to 18. I played baseball with Tyler Austin. He was a little guy, probably six or seven. I had an indoor facility in the area, and his dad would bring him, and we got to working together, and it just ended up being a great relationship. I was 17 years old, and when I first met him, it was the weekend before our big rival game, and he was talking about how he was going to hit eight home runs against Salem, and he was going to dominate us. And I was like, okay, cool. Later that game, he actually hit three home runs and they beat us, so he was right. It was clear by as early as the age of eight years old that he was athletically gifted. Baseball just came easy to Tyler. In Conyers, when one heard the name Tyler Austin, they thought of baseball. And when they saw him play, it was clear that he was destined for greatness. You know, we finished playing a travel game and Tyler's telling his dad, let's go in the cage, let's go in the cage, let's go in the cage. He had it in his mind what he wanted to do and he was gonna do it. He was strong, you know, he could run, had a great arm. And the thing impressed me is he loved the game. He loved to play. And that's what makes the difference. When I first met him, he told me that he was going to be a Major League Baseball player, and I could see in his eyes, and I never doubted him. He always says that a plan B takes away from his plan A, which was always just to make it to the big leagues, and everything that he does is for that dream. High school baseball put Tyler Austin on the map. His power, quickness, and knowledge of the game had more than just the city of Conyers buzzing. He had attracted college and major league scouts from all over the nation. Every ounce of heart, sweat, and blood that Tyler had poured into baseball was paying off. And his dream of becoming a professional baseball player was on the verge of reality. senior year. All eyes on Tyler Austin, a 17-year-old with the weight of the world on his shoulders, received some unexpected life-altering news that would force baseball to the back burner. Um, yeah, I felt like somebody just hit me. And, uh, the pain was so bad that I couldn't handle it anymore, and uh, I um, told my mom, and we went to the hospital, and I was scared to death. I actually was texting with him the night he went to the hospital, and I remember he, he was telling me that he was going to the emergency room, and I was like, what's going on? Um, how are you? And everything. And he was a little hesitant to tell me that it was uh, to sick your cancer, but I remember finding out about it, and I couldn't believe it. I 
was shocked. I mean, he didn't tell me. It was just kind of floated around town. But that's Tyler, you know, he wants to handle stuff on his own. I didn't think anybody needed to know about it. So I got diagnosed, had the surgery. The following week, I was playing in the AFLAC game. And then the week after that, I was playing in a tournament with Bill. That cancer was just a thing to me. In my heart, I believed that I was going to beat it. I didn't think it was going to affect me in any way. If anything, I got stronger from it. So, But when something goes wrong with me in life, I know I have a lot of people that I can turn to to give me strength and support. and to make sure that I know that everything's gonna be all right. There is something remarkable woven deep into Tyler's DNA. Something beyond his athletic aptitude. It's his ability to overcome adversity. It's his willingness to fight. And it's his desire to never give up on a dream regardless of the obstacle. On draft day in 2010, with cancer in the rearview mirror, Tyler Austin was selected by his favorite team, the New York Yankees in the 13th round. After grinding through six years of minor league ball, the dream that he worked so hard for finally came true. It was time to throw on the pinstripes. All eyes on Tyler Austin. I went up to hit that day and I was like, oh my God, like I'm gonna swing at the first pitch because he's gonna throw me a fastball. Sure enough, he did. My legs were shaking too much. I, I, I don't know what was going on, but I couldn't swing. And uh, to be honest, after that, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you what happened. I like it. I was praying, just praying. I was holding my breath. I was actually praying. I said, God, let him hit a home run right here. And then as soon as he hit the ball. Driven to right field and deep. Going back is Matuk on the track at the wall. Nice. Welcome to the big leagues. And I realized it was home run, and I started crying. It brought tears to my eyes. It made me cry um, just to see you know, someone put that much work in, and then for that to happen, it was it was awesome to see that. You know, when they start with you when you're little and you watch them grow up, it's pretty special. That was just uh, probably one of the, the best days of, of my life. Resilience in the face of adversity. Tyler Austin overcame odds that no one should ever have to face. He did it with strength, fortitude, and humility. All eyes on Tyler Austin.